Praise the Lord. Do appreciate the Lord. All His benefits. He's loaded as every one of us with today. Maybe some familiar scriptures tonight. I thank the Lord for what I felt ever since I've been in the house of God. I like to be able to come through the door and feel the presence of God in my soul. Might not have shouted, but you saw me just right. He'll dance me. But I still love what I feel in my soul. I, I thought maybe how the, the testimonies have been going, how good, how good the Lord's been moving. How these good children begin to gather up front, begin to stand and work. Children, that's that's how you need to do when the service starts. Come on, brother. You don't need to wait for an invitation to come up and worship the Lord. This this is the house of worship. And uh, we need to have our mind ready to worship when we get to church. Come on, brother. Uh, I thought it's hard to go from the flesh into the spirit. You can't just jump from one into another, but you got to walk after the Spirit. Yeah. And if you walk after the Spirit, it won't be so hard uh, for the Lord to move on you. And it won't be so hard to ask you to stand and praise the Lord. Come on, right. uh, I thank the Lord. I thought my mother, I, I know I was by myself today, but my little brother sounded like she'd heard me praying. Uh, who wouldn't want to worship the Lord? Come on, brother. Yeah. Uh, if you really think about it, why wouldn't you want to praise the Lord? Right. Yeah, I know. You know, sometimes people get tore up. You preach praise the Lord, uh, but the Lord don't have to move on you to praise Him. Right. You say, "Well, I'm waiting for Him to tell me." Well, He's already told you in His Word. Right. Uh, this Word from from lid to lid is sacred and holy. And uh, he told us to make a joyful noise Amen. to the Lord. Amen. Uh, he told us to praise the Lord. Amen. And uh, I, I thought I, I want to Amen. the Lord to be able to receive me when I stand before Him. Uh, just just a little bit tonight, by the help of the good Lord, it's not too late. Uh, it's a good night to serve the Lord. I thought last night when uh, you know how the meeting went and Wayne preached so good, different ones. I thought toward the end of service, uh, I began to go thought go over in my heart uh, how much that it means, how much difference that it makes to love what you do. Yeah, right. Yeah, amen. Enjoy. It. I, I've had people. Uh, I started out cleaning bathrooms and uh, sweeping floors and unloading trucks and carrying stuff out for people. And uh, before the Lord moved me here, uh, I was I was the one over the whole store. So I know what it means to get in and start at the bottom and work your way up. And uh, I thought when you go to hire people, let me just talk to you. When you go to hire people, especially young people that's raised up today, uh, they all want to start at the top. Uh, they, they want to move into the boss's office and uh, they, they just are raised with a sense that things ought to be given to them. Uh, but anything you get that's worth having, you work for. Uh, and I've had people that I've hired that... Um, you know, attitude had a whole lot to do with the job that they did. Right. And uh, I tried to hire people that was friendly and smile. Uh, I can teach. I could teach them to do anything I needed them to do. But I can't teach somebody to be friendly and smile. Right. It's no. just got to be that. Right. And attitude goes a long way. Right. Uh, I, I thought our attitude with the Lord takes me and you a long way. It yeah. either yeah. make our job easier. Or it makes it harder. Right. Uh, I thought, praise the good Lord, just a little bit begin to get on me. We need to love what we do. 
I had a mind to go one way and the Spirit's taking me another way. We need to love what we do. I've had folks that their job was to mop the bathroom floor or clean the windows or clean gum up off the floor. The little old man on the totem pole. Uh, but I thought I've had some that uh, they, they was just as happy to do that as if they had the boss's desk. Amen. Their attitude uh, made it a whole lot easier to work with them. And it, I found that they really wasn't nothing that, that I could ask them to do that they wouldn't do for me. Because they had the right attitude. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on. I like to have the right attitude with God. I like to I like to live in a way that whatever the Lord would want me to do, there wouldn't be nothing that I would feel like would be beneath me. Yeah. See, there's some folks that feels like they things that they're too good to do. Uh, but like I said, you, you name it, when it comes to retail, I've done it. And uh, I've done things that most folks probably would turn their stomach and they wouldn't be willing to do. Right. Uh, but we don't need to, uh, to have a bad attitude when it comes to serving the Lord. Yeah. I thought that I talked to the Lord today. Yeah. Uh, let me just go ahead and begin to move somewhere else. I thought that I talked to the Lord today. To begin to, to deal with me just a little bit. Got two different things. Stick around. Maybe sometime I'll preach the other one to you. But I never could hardly stand to have somebody work for me. That uh, the, anything I'd ask them to do, the first thing they do is blow. Yeah. Yeah. Now you got kids. The one thing you can't stand for your children to do. Yeah. Is blow and roll their eyes and ask them to do something. Ain't nothing gonna get mama no angry no quicker than for the young and just to buck up and get an attitude about what they asked to do. I tell my children, I say, I'm your daddy. That's your mommy. I said, that's reason enough to do anything that we ask you to do. I don't have to tell you why. You do it because I ask you to do it. Thank God. I thought if I had one that had the wrong attitude, wouldn't be too long, I'd, I'd move them on out. And find somebody else to come in yeah. that could do the same job and uh, might not have been as good as they was, but had the right attitude. Yeah. Glory to God. Praise yeah. you. Yeah. 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 I praise the yeah. yeah. Lord this, this evening. God bless you. I love to have the right attitude when I come to church. Attitude, attitude, attitude. Here I am. Come on, Glory to God. God, no doubt, and look down at time and He sees just how much He has done for me and you. He, he hung the stars out there for man to tell the seasons and the times and for signs. God did that not because He needed to know, but He did that for me and you. Yeah. So He hung the moon and the stars for you. Yeah. Glory to God. Sweet Lamb of God. Children, stay right with me. You know, sometimes what will make a difference for me and you is our attitude. Amen. We're not willing to suffer. We're not willing for nobody to do us wrong. Don't want to go through nothing. Do you know what the Lord wants? He wants that little one. That is small enough that if he just said, raise to your feet yeah, will. and praise me, they wouldn't have to say, Lord, why? Come on, but they would with pleasure begin to praise the Lord with everything they've got. Begin to, begin to give honor unto the Lord. Glory to the sweet Lamb of God. How is your attitude tonight? Come on. How did you come through those doors? Oh, that broke the five minute barrel. How was your attitude when you come to the house of God tonight? Lord, it wasn't another. I got to go to church. I got to go. It's another night. I got to go. Or was it, praise God, I get to go to church? I get to go out and worship with my brothers and my sisters. Was it, Lord? to sing another song. Oh, or was it, Lord, I'd be glad to sing you a song. Yeah, I'd be glad, Lord, to praise your holy name. Oh, would it be, Lord, that preacher's going to get on praise God again. 
and roll the eyes. If that is your attitude, I believe I know why you're not getting anywhere with God. Come on, brother. He woke me up this morning. Clothed me. Put me in my right mind. Fed my babies. Fed my wife. Give me something good to eat. Roof over our head. Heat when it gets cold outside. God doesn't owe me a thing. I said He doesn't owe me and you a thing. Well, I didn't get to shout. Well, check your attitude at the door. You didn't get your mind in the right place. It's all about how you approach it. You know how we're supposed to come before the Lord? We're supposed to come before Him with praise and thanksgiving. Mm. We're supposed to bring our sacrifice before Him. Yeah. Glory to God. We didn't see nobody bring a sheep nor a goat tonight. Thank God the Lord did away with all that. Amen. But He still has a sacrifice He'd like to receive from you. Come on, it is called the fruit of your lips. Right. It is called a praise unto God. Right. It's all about how you and I are. Really? Yeah. It makes a difference really? in our trials and what we go through. Glory to God. Don't have to ask me if I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Amen. I talked this, this evening. I hope that the, the rest of the time you come to church, I hope you remember this. You have to come with a mind ready to worship God. If you can't leave somebody, mother maybe said, somebody said leave your troubles at the door. If you can't leave them at the door, bring them up and lay them on this altar. And have the attitude, Lord, I'm just going to leave them there. I can't change anything anyhow. You're the only one that can make a difference. But if I can please you, if I can just please you, perhaps I can get you to move in that that blows my mind. Perhaps I can get you to move. And if He don't move, He can still change my your thoughts and get them upon Him. You mean something to love what you do. There's folks that makes big money, but they hate their job. Come on. They, they make plenty of money, and money don't mean anything to them. That's right. But they hate their job. Right. And then there's folks that don't hardly get hardly get by, but by the grace of God, but they love what they do. Right. And that man is more happy than the other man. Right. Are you happy serving God? Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna talk to you for a Oh, can you tell? And I'm looking at you. Now you remember why you're looking at me. I'm looking back at you. Right. Oh, Are you happy oh, serving your God? Yeah. Yeah. If there's something else you'd rather do than to serve God, is there any other life you'd love to live? Come on. Well, listen, right. I've lived most of my life. I've lived for the Lord. Thank God. Thank God. Help him, Lord. Oh, what you do. If you get happy, we don't have to say stand up and honor the Lord. If you enjoy worshiping God, we don't have to say testify. Come on. It means something to enjoy what you do. Amen. You love what you do. There's some of these fellas that just let me bring it out. There's some of these fellas that they, they love. That they love to play ball. And from a child, that's, that's what their parents are all about. That's what they raise them on. That's their goal in life they set for. Them. And it's the same as they eat and sleep and drink ball. They practice. They go to practice. They think about practice. They read. They, they watch all these things to learn and to get better at what they're doing. Let me ask you again. Do you love serving the Lord? Do you love serving God? Do you love serving the Lord? 
Oh. We can take this the way that the pro ball player does. If we can serve God the way he serves mammon. You talk about a church house on fire. We need sleep and drink Jesus. We study the word of God. We go and fellowship with one another. We love one another. We never got nobody tell us what to do in the house of God. Yeah. Come on, because you ain't seen something. You love what you do. Man and good, glory, glory, glory. Do they say these folks? While I'm at it, it makes you uncomfortable. We're just going to pray. Who loves? They love their team. That's right. They'll paint themselves blue and white. Walk around and look like a fool. Look like a, something out of the road. Yeah, come on. Big fuzzy blue hair. <laughs> Why do they do that? Because they love that team. They love what they get about. No matter how goofy they look, they love that. Some of them go on and wear their shirt and paint themselves. Spell out the name of the team. Sweet Lamb of God, get me tonight. You know why they do that? Why are they willing to be ridiculed? Because they love what they do. We can't hardly get church folks to dress like church folks no more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There is a joy in living for God. There is a love when you love God. There's a joy in sacrificing for God. Amen. Well, help me, Jesus. They'll hoop, they'll holler, they'll, they'll throw, and all kinds of shapes they'll get in. And the children of God, who have really got someone to be proud of, who have really got a winner, undefeated, all powerful, that even death itself could not hold him. And we come out and we say it. It means something to love what you do. It means something to love what you do. Glory, yes, Lord, you let me read, I'll read to you, but I've got to take it while it's moving on me. If you love living for God, it won't be hard to live for God. If you love the power of God, there is nothing God would ask you to do you wouldn't be willing to do. If you love it. Glory to God, but if you don't, you are the most miserable Christian. Amen. The way of transgressors heart. But do you love serving the Lord? I'm just going to tell you, our visitors, I love you. Preachers, glad to see you. They all of you. Everybody. All of you. Listen to me. Are you proud to be a part of the body of Christ? Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on, that tournament rolls around. Some might miss and stay home to watch the cats. Yeah, that's right. Good preacher, that's what you need. Come on. That's right, man. For the body of Christ. You're a member of the... I can't help it. Is this a, you're a member of this team. The army of the living God. Right. Come on. Do you love what you do? Do you enjoy Do you take pleasure? Where do you get your pleasure? Come on. Come on, Jesus. Be mine when it comes from another world. Yeah. Yeah. Get it out round about the crown of my head. Yeah. And it'll move right on down. In the depths that you don't even know you got. Come on. And it'll make a few loops. And it'll come out back out of there. And it'll be speaking in something that I don't understand. But the angels up there understand. Do you love it? It means something to love. Who makes a good painter? Somebody that loves to paint. Come on, every morning. We need to hear it. I'll stop that. If you don't care anything about people, if you don't have compassion on people, if all you like is money, then you're gonna make a bad doctor. Because you're in it for the wrong thing. Right. Amen. You won't have any compassion. Amen. People will get to where they won't want to use you. Huh? Amen. Glory, glory. Come on, brother. But you find somebody that really genuinely cares. Yeah. Smart enough. Glory to God. You call them in the midnight hour. Somebody willing to cancel vacation and go and help their patient. Right. That'll be the one that make a good doctor. Right. Glory, glory, glory. I want the Lord to look at me and you and say they make a good Christian. Glory to God. 
seem like everything walking the sidewalk claims to be saved. Yeah, but are you a good Christian? Come on. Are you a good child of God? Come on, baby. Do you love serving this man? Glory yeah, to God, if we love him just right, he'll say, Don't eat, we won't eat. There you go. Come on. You say, Go pray. We'll stop what we're doing. We'll go pray. You mean something love what you're doing? I said, it may be this right here, this is the job the Lord gave me. And every time the devil would eat, and I hate him, he hates me. We hate one another. Every time he tries his best just to run. Run! You don't have to do this. Run! But you know why? I love God. And I love his people. And I love my job. I'm not the best. I'm a work in progress. So are you. But thank God. Yeah. Do you love yeah. what you do for God? Yeah. If you don't love it, he's going to quit moving on you. Yeah. He'll find somebody. He'll go to the drunkard in the gutter, the prostitute out in the street. He is able to raise them up and replace you. Do you love what you do? Psalm 100, children, if you want to go with me, it's a very short psalm, but I want to read it. <laughs> Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you lands. Lord, I thank you. They said, don't believe in music in the church. We're supposed to praise Him on that loud sound and sound. Yeah, yeah. Part of it. Salty, the whole line. Yeah. We your voice, we your hands, we your feet. Yeah. With everything that you've got, yeah. you love worshiping God, yeah. you'll put everything you've got in praising Him. And you and I believe I'd be safe to say tonight, He deserves everything that you've got. Every ounce of strength in your body. He used every last grain that you've got to praise Him. He is worthy of all that you've got. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. I'm going to take my time in what? Four verses? Five verses? Take my time. Serve the Lord with gladness. Hey, you're going to have church Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday down ages. I can't wait to go. I can't wait to be there. Daily meeting on third Sunday. I can't wait to go. I can't wait to see what the Lord is going to do. Well, you're looking at me awful funny. If you don't put your heart in this, Something will come along that, that your heart favors more and you'll swap it off. If your heart ain't in this, you won't stay with it. you got to serve the Lord with gladness. Say, Lord, you have to be willing, there'd be nothing. There wouldn't be anything that you would ask that I wouldn't be willing to do. And if God asked you, He will enable you to do that. We're supposed to be glad to serve the Lord. Glad to serve Him. Come on, baby. It is a privilege, children. Just stop and think just a moment. We don't have to go to Jerusalem. If I get us an ox or ram, I couldn't afford to do that anyway. Come on. We couldn't afford to go all the way over to Jerusalem and bring our sacrifice to the Lord. No. But He made a way. He made a perfect one. I don't have to go over there. All I have to do is from my heart. Call upon His name. I can go in my bedroom, my living room, driver's seat of my truck. Come on. Come on. I can walk around this track out here and I can serve the Lord with gladness. You think about what a privilege and an honor that it is. Come on, come on. It's an honor to be in the Lord's house. I love this place. I can help it. Come on. Say what you want. But I love this place. And I love the people in this place. And I love the spirit that is in this place. 
Amen. It's an honor. Amen. You ought to consider it a privilege Amen. to get to come into the Lord's house. Amen. Amen. Come on, brother. Amen. Come on. The truth. And people, could you go in anywhere tonight? As of now, it's a free country. Stick around, we'll see. Yeah, there you go. But you had a choice. You could win anywhere. If you choose to come here, and I'm glad you did. Yeah, come on.